Hey, it's Tom from Inspiration Metalworks, and in this week's video, we're going to do some mill turning and make a bunch of pins. All right, well, I had a job come in this week that uh, it was going to be a real challenge for me to do manually. I'm, it's lathe work. I'm perfectly suited to CNC uh, lathes. I don't have one of those. But what I do have is my little CNC mill, right? And so I used a function called mill turning, um, a feature where effectively you put the stock in the spindle and you put a lathe tool, you, know, you mount it on the bed of the, of the table. Uh, in this case, I just used the vise and, and uh, put the, the cutter in there. I used a CCGT uh, tool, it's a 3521 uh, spec on there, it's a corolloy specifically, you know, highly polished specifically for aluminum uh, because I had a bunch of these guys to make, right? Uh, and actually, these aren't fully done. There are more operations that go to this, um, but because these are for a customer, um, I don't wanna, I don't wanna you know, go too far with, with what I show. The interesting part about all this is the, the mill turn portion of it. Um, Fusion 360 actually supports this pretty much out of the box. Your post-processor does need to support mill turning as well though. Um, if you don't know how to turn that on, I, I suggest you do a Google search. There are ways to do it. Um, if you really don't know how to turn it on and you need some help, uh, you know, send me an email. I'll, I'll help you out on that one because uh, it's not as complicated as I thought it might be. Uh, but effectively, you, know, you set up everything just like it's a lathe, right? Uh, so when I did my first one, this guy, I wasn't even sure I could get it to work. In fact, it took me five or six different tries before I finally got my work coordinate system, where I was just doing a bunch of air cutting, right? And get my work coordinate systems where it was, uh, um, you know, moving in the directions it was supposed to be. Once I sorted out all the, the, the pebcac errors, right, the, the problems, you know, my user errors, um, I was able to go ahead and, and you know, put this in and, uh, and get one turned. I was using uh, what I thought to be the um, the recommended speeds and feeds for this, based on what I saw on the package. You know, so the sitting here somewhere. Anyways, the package has speeds and feeds. I went to the Corlay website; they've got speeds and feeds. Um, what I ended up realizing is that the speeds and feeds were absolutely uh, I was not reading them properly, right? Um, so, effectively, what I was looking at was you know something very different than what they intended. Uh, so I got one. I got one done. And actually, I did all of these in pairs. So every one of these is numbered. I gotta keep them together. So I did them in pairs, and I, uh, anytime I made changes, I did them in pairs. One was to uh, to be able to see if I were rep was able to replicate it. Um, and the other is these actually go together in the in the uh, prototypes. These are used in pairs, so uh, I wanted to make them in pairs. That that's how they were going to be done in real life, anyways. Um, so I went from very quickly realizing that uh, 0.06 for a feed rate or 0.006 for a feed rate was not right. Um, <laughs> I, then I went to uh, one inch a minute, thinking, okay. You know, so so this, the first pair were actually cut at one inch a minute. Uh, it took forever to do. Um, then I decided I was an experiment, and numbers three and four were done at the whopping rate of two inches a minute. Um, actually, didn't see a bit of difference. But, you know, speed wise was was better. Uh, so this was coming in about eleven and a half minutes each, right? Um, it's only two operations, this is a face and a profile. Then I said, all right, I got some feedback off of uh, Facebook, uh, Chuck Kidwell, thank you very much, buddy. And looking at his numbers, and the numbers that he was putting out there were, you know, seemed astronomically fast, especially for this little machine. But I said, you know what, let's figure this out. What's, you know, what can this machine really do? I knew I had, a, you know, my spindle goes up to 4,300 RPM, um, but it's not terribly rigid. 
So I actually went up to 40 inches a minute for the uh, cutting, uh, cutting rate and I did the rest of them exactly like that. Uh, the cycle time went down to about 57 seconds. All right, we're gonna repeat the fast one with a little more coolant this time and see how it does. It's awfully stringy. What I'm not getting is the uh, chatter this time. One minute cycle time. Beautiful. Um, which I was really happy about. The other part to it, um, we'll, we'll do a little manual zoom. I don't know how well you can, how well that'll focus here. Really, you can't tell the difference. Surface finish wise, I can't. When I compare the one I did super slow and the one I did at high speed, there's no difference. I don't see. There, there's absolutely no difference in the quality of the part. So I could kill myself and run it, you know, at 40 minutes uh, cycle time or 57 seconds, right? You get the same thing. So obviously, speeds and feeds matter. All right. Well, I hope I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. I, I am in the hotel, as you can see. I am in Zanesville, Ohio. Hmm. What might I be doing here this week? I wonder. Anyways. Uh, yeah, mill turning really was a great uh, opportunity to extend the functionality of my little CNC uh, mill that I have. And I wanted to do uh, one last shout out uh, to the folks at Autodesk. Uh, so the guys at Fusion 360, uh, you know, the team there just did an amazing job, you know, pointing me in the right direction, getting the right resources, uh, you know, and encouraging me to, to keep... Uh, keep doing stuff that to me seemed like it might just be absolutely ludicrous, but it, it worked and it worked well and uh, the customer is really happy. So uh, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, for those of you who are going to be at the open house this weekend, uh, I'll see you there. If not, I will hopefully see you soon. Take care.